All right, welcome back to Quahog, Texas for episode six of my Starfield playthrough with uh, Odysseus the Mandalorian who has acquired the Millennium Falcon. So we have a, a little bit of a Star Wars themed playthrough here. Uh, we're going to pick up right where we left off uh, last time with episode five. And so here we go, episode six. Let's play. All right, so we are at the key. We have now infiltrated and become a pirate for the Crimson Fleet. So we're working as a bit of a double agent here. And we are on our way to meet the rest of the Crimson Fleet following Neva. All right, Neva, where are we going here? We've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are. King. Credits are what king. Okay. All right. Cash and Hang king. On, Nav. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction. You know, that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here is Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, neighbor. I was getting tired of trading with the same old you're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Alutra. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Brooke, where you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just finding it. She thinks she lost a bit of cash selling us a ship in the key. She sure the thought that home run. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I'll remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. <clears throat> Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners All right, the little, so this looks interesting. And begin pirating. A lot of uh That was how the crimson. A lot of diversity, a lot of interesting of characters Jasper here on the key. Had a lot to do with all that, but uh we'll get to him later. Jasper Cricks. Meet Zuri. Queen of the rare exports. Hey, Zuri. If I don't have it, you don't ah. need it. Neuro amps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. Five figures? <laughs> the Ooh. hard way? Oh, no. That's Will a lot of figures. me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. My prices the right, may be high, got but these goods the ain't authority. exactly easy to I'm find. I'm sure you know the okay. deal there. They'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up, if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Okay, this is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Vogue serves watered-down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here is the most important place on the entire station, the Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new Rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. <laughs> you mean Austin Ray? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. That's Perhaps right. Next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our life. The money. We call him our reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. 
And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Oh. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. Shinya Voss. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And oh. no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. That's the most clever security measure I've ever seen. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. Delgado sounds like a smart man. It's why he's the boss. Of course, I'm not the first Reckoner to bear a bomb under my ribcage, but Delgado was smart enough to continue the tradition. Hmm. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications even Ryujin would envy. I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. Wow. And you're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. Time to make those credits. The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. Sounds like we'll be doing a lot of business together. If Neva's chosen wisely, we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. All right. All right, listen up. You can all stop complaining. Atrium to cargo bay doors have been repaired. Oh, and you're welcome. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neva's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Well, I won't disappoint. You better not disappoint. <laughs> you'll find yourself answering to me personally all right let's get started here when you sign up with the crimson fleet you're in it for the long haul no one quits no one retires the only way out is death you stay loyal or you pay the consequences fleet before friends fleet before family fleet before yourself Got it, boss. Boss? <laughs> Good. You're getting it already. I like that. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. <laughs> I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Let's get to it. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead rooks. 
You think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story? Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, hmm. as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Grix. Grix led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Maybe you should tell me more about Crix's legacy. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Hmm. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. Hmm. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Subarov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crix left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC's death. We'll be unstoppable. Exactly. Now you're beginning to understand. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. All right. Let's see here. Um, eh, let's just go ahead and go. Time since I've been to Mars. All right, we are headed this way. To start something, I'll finish it. I like my weapons like I like my coffee. These guys talk tough. I always thought heat leeches were just pests. Never. I don't know about you, but I think the welcome sign. So we are headed down to the ice planet. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the cold, but got to do what you got to do. All right, so where are we headed now? We are headed this way. Ooh. And to Savarov. We're going to the lock. Let's go. This way. Ow. There we go. About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. I always keep my yeah. word. We will see. Mostly and always. Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. Oh. Got that? Okay. <laughs> Fine. All right. Listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative. Bring it straight to me. Yes, sir. Sounds simple enough. <laughs> so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Nope. Hold on, no scrapping. How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. <laughs> if either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, 
then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice bar without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Got it, boss. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. Oh, very nice. <laughs> I'll just remain here and soak in the planet's lovely winter-like atmosphere until I go hypothermic. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. Let's get moving. Yeah, I always wondered, like, I've got Sarah with me here, and so they just kind of let the companion come along on these undercover double agent missions, huh? Right. Oh, hell. What was that? Adolescent, what is it? Okay. Oh, what got me? Oh, oh, it get me. The lock. Okay. What's wrong with your neck, man? Oh, what up? Oh. Damn, they just pop right out of the ground at you. No warning, just... What are we fighting here? I didn't see nothing. Where are we going? Alright, what am I missing here? I don't see what they're shooting at. Oh, here we go. Looks like they got that under control. Go ahead and see what kind of weapon. An empty weapons case. All right. You guys are playing around too much. Come on now. What's taking so long? Do I gotta go kill all these things? Okay, I guess we gotta kill all of these things first. Alright, it's ridiculous. What we got here? Oh. Damn. That phone boy hauled ass. Come on. Bad luck for you. Dang. Sarah's taking care of him. Okay. I need to go to first person whenever I'm in combat. Alright, where are we at here? Come on now. What you doing? Uh... You good, bro? <laughs> you, you hurt your back? Okay. Wait for Delgado to unseal the lock. Well, looks like he's uh, having issues right now. Here we are. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy, and eventually, the Crimson Fleet. The lock. For how old this place is, I can't believe it's still standing. Yeah? Oh, good. I don't want the place collapsing on us. 
<laughs> I've been down here several times in the last few years. As long as we keep the damage to a minimum, we shouldn't have any problems. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. All right, well, let's go. Waiting on you, man. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. So... Oh, I'm supposed to activate it. Okay. No, I'm not. Requires an ID card. <laughs> Continue exploring the lock. Alright, a little buggy there, are we? Dude, you can get up now, man. It's alright. <laughs> okay, I know I went in. Dude, what are you doing, man? They got him stuck like this for the rest of the game, or what? <laughs> First time I've been inside right. this part of the lock. So keep your eyes open. What do we got? It's got to be some. Something to fight, right? Got some monsters down here, some bugs, some aliens, something, no? Alright, why do they have Delgado doing this? This just doesn't make... Bro. Alright, I'm gonna have to find a way to fix this. All right, we'll see if this will fix it, cause he just wouldn't stop crouching. Oh, there he is, still crouching. All right, man. <laughs> hey, man. What? Uh. So. Okay. All right. Let's all crouch. This is a heck of a leg workout. Like this for the rest of your life. Yeah, sure. Must have been awful. Better them than us, though, am I right? Wait, shut up a second. Did you hear that? What? Oh! Those things just swarm. All right, what are we doing now? This dude is still crouching. We got the crouching tiger hidden Delgado over here, huh? Bro, what are we doing? Must be a nest. I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. Sounds like someone needs to grow up here. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already. <laughs> I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area, but everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? All right, so you're going to send me with Mathis, who apparently is not very fond of me. Come on, Mathis. Where are we supposed to be going here? 
Okay, so of course I went the wrong way. Uh, we gotta go in here, okay. Oh, okay. A cave in. We had a cave in. Uh oh. Damn it. This ice and rock must be several meters thick. God damn it, we're cut off. Hey, Dell. Can you hear me? Dell! Shit. Well, this is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? We stick with the plan. the plan. Who gives a shit about the plan? Let's face it, we're on our own now. Then we should continue to follow Delgado's orders. Why? Because that's what his loyal little soldiers are supposed to do? Mm hmm. The hell with that. Mm -hmm. I have a better plan. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado and at the same time make some serious credits for ourselves. I'm not betraying Delgado. Oh, come on. We're just a couple of rooks. When are we ever going to have a chance like this again? Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct. And there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves Oop. and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Let's see here. Hmm. Not going to happen, bro. Oh, fine. Suit yourself. You know, for a second there, I was almost starting to respect you. <laughs> now, let's find a way out of here. Maybe I should just break your jaw for you. Oh, okay. We got stuff just falling down now. Alright, what do we got? Oh, look. Oh, looks like they're out there having a little, having a little, uh, little firefight. Little, uh, little bug hunt. Alright, where am I supposed to be going? Here we go. It was a close one, but we're in one piece. Well, brush the dust off and listen up. We have obviously been cut off, so I need you to do two things. First, I want you to keep looking for a way to open the rest of the doors down here. Otherwise, I'm not going anywhere. And second, try and dig up whatever you can about Jasper Griggs. You both got that? We got yeah. it. And tell Mathis not to get any bright ideas, <laughs> or I will gut him myself. Hey Mathis, don't get any bright ideas, or he's gonna gut you himself. Like this guy. See this guy? Gonna end up like him. Let's see here. Alright, alright. Override lockdown. What else? See here. Hmm. Attention. Lockdown mode has been rescinded. This place is not to me. Onion. Alright, what's that do? Plus twenty five melee damage. Alright. Except I don't ever use melee. Alright, where are we going? Where are we headed? What's this guy got? Okay. We headed this way. Here we go. Let's go. Come on, Mathis. Ooh. Ooh, what happened to this guy? He been here a while, huh? If we get out of here, remind me to I'm gonna remind you to shut the front door. This Castillo. Where was it? Alright, let's go. Okay. 
Okay, where are we headed here? Let's go. Oh yeah, I love that jetpack mod. So, have you changed your mind yet? Quit bringing this up or you're going to get both of us killed. Yeah, right. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? No way, Mathis. I'm not going to be part of your plan. Of all the people to get trapped here with, why the hell did I get stuck with you, huh? <laughs> Fine, have it your way. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Uh, let's see here... Yeah, we find a way out of this place and keep looking for info on Cricks on the way. Keep doing what we've been doing. Right. Glad I asked. Mm -hmm. I suppose we should start off by searching the tower for the location of Crix's cell. If he stashed any useful information, it might still be hidden somewhere inside. Alright. Got these frozen dudes here. They look like they've seen better days. <laughs> what we got here? We got some books here. I know some of these books, like, yeah, they like give you access to like hidden places and stuff. Okay. Maybe not that one. There's a way out, Math. Let's quit your whining, man. We're gonna get out of here. Prisoner records. Hmm. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Jasper Crix's cell. D block, section three. I need to unlock. I'm going to just unlock all of them. Okay. Optional, locate the cache in cell D2106. Okay. Where are we headed here? Alright, Mathis, let's go, man. Oh, look at there. Okay. What? Like... Okay. That... was fun. I need to unlock this. Oh, I hate these games. Okay, let's see here. A little mini game, Digipix. I'm just not very well. Yeah. How? Okay, okay, okay. What do we find? What do we find? We've got us uh, some stuff here. Okay. What else? Is that it? Well, that don't seem like much. I'm going to mess with all that. Uh, 
Well, this looks like something. Oh, here we go. We are going to activate. That is optional. So let's do this first. Oh, here we go. What we got? Got some ammo. There we go. Got some cred stick. And hmm. search Crix's cell. Activate. Oh, pry open the base. Okay. Ah, there we go. Search Carter's locker. Oh, look at here. Ah, dang. All right, man. Where'd you go, bro? Okay, so this is the optional locate the cash. Oh. Requires computer. This has opened what didn't I? But I opened it already. What? Okay. I opened everything earlier. Alright, well, I ain't gonna waste my time with that right now. Let's do what we came here to do. No direct path. things are everywhere. Holy crap. Where am I supposed to be going here? Oh, okay. See? Where'd that come from? Broken intercom. So it can't activate it since it's broken, right? Alright, that makes sense. We already go in there. We did, right? Yeah, we already came in here. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, we already did all that. And that's where I unlocked all of the... All the cell blocks, so that's why I'm wondering why is it... It wouldn't let me get into that cell. What's down here? And... Bam. Got that fool. Workroom. Master lock. See? Uh, ventilation. Okay. What's in here? Got some goodies. Alright. What else? What else we got? Secure access. Requires a key. Only maintenance terminal code. So where's the key? <laughs> like a key laying around here somewhere? Tablet. No. Requires key. And that means there's a key laying around here somewhere. Okay, where are we headed? These things are literally everywhere. Are you Mathis? Come on, man. Quit playing around with those damn bugs and let's go. Search Carter's locker. Optional. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, Mathis. You're silly. Oh, looky here. Oh, looky there. Okay. Nice. So this guy was a prisoner, right? And he had these weapons in his prison cell. Yeah. You know. Because prison. Alright, where are we headed now? Mathis, what's up, man? Anything we find, we're splitting 50-50. Nice. Nah, you can uh, you can try to take it from me if uh, if you're feeling lucky. What is that? 
Hold up. I ain't never seen one of them before. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, this place is full of stuff. Dude, y'all are everywhere. Look how fast they are. They're so freaking fast. Bruh. <laughs> Those suckers. Come on now. So this, in this prison is where the Crimson Fleet started, that's right. Crix's Legacy by Jasper Crix. Oh, that sounds fun. Ah, okay. Open door. Open says me. There we go. Just like that. And loose panel. Knock that panel down. Was this an armory? Looks like they cleared this place out. Not entirely. Oh, well, what do we have here? And give me a sec. This sort of come in handy. Well, what was it? What did he just grab? And why don't I get any? All right, let's keep moving. Got here. I like to stock up on ammo because you just you just can't ever have too much ammo. I can always sell it if I don't use it. Stun mine. Hey, what we got up here? Mag pressure tank. Hmm. Eh, why not, right? Credits. There we go. Credits are always good. Oh, what do we got here? Got some 7.77 millimeter they are ammunition. Alright, let's get out of here. That's enough. Alright, alright. Oh, he's throwing rocks at me. Alright, Mathis, why don't you get up here and uh, give me a hand? Hey, what is that? Oh, okay. Okay, what do we got? Warden Tom Gillespie. Okay. Oh 
man, yeah, these guys have seen better days. Man. Hope I don't end up like that someday. I need some milk. Uh oh. Alright, man. Alright, man. Hey! Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let you handle them, Mathis. Man, look at all these damn things. How in the world? Combat knife and a screwdriver. Warden's office. Hmm. Let's see what's at the warden's office. Found information about Crixus' legacy. No thanks to Mathis, who barely lifted a finger to help. Ooh, should I say that? Eh, I'm not gonna throw Mathis under the bus. I'll give him some cred. Thanks to Mathis' help, we found some information about Crixus' legacy. Everyone said I was out of my mind, but something told me we'd find the answers down here. Looks like I picked the right people for the job. Yep, that's right. It was a team effort all the way. We had each other's backs the whole time, Dell. Mm. Is that Mathis? Tell him to shut up so I can think. Shut up, Mathis. Uh, yeah, sorry, Dell. You go right ahead. Okay. Now, all we have to do is find the way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Sounds awesome. The outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. You got it, boss. Good answer. You're learning fast. Okay. Let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the process. Please stand by. Yep. It's got it. I take a while though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. Yes, sir. All right, Mathis. Hey, um, look, I, um, well, mm. I wanted to thank you for not being a jerk and hounding all the glory on this run. Don't worry about it, man. Cool. Cool. Look. Um, about all that killing Delgado <laughs> stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. Hmm. Uh, uh, you know what? Ah, uh, already forgotten. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I promise that you won't regret it. Now, let's get the heck out of here. Alright, enter the shuttle bay. Where do we go here? Let's see, we got some... Okay, got some stuff here. Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and let's load up here. Eh. What else we got in here? And we have some... 
I just don't want to spend time with the dang unlocking the, the stuff and the whatnot. The Pickwick Papers. Chapter 1. Okay. Is that it? Well, where do we go then? Gotta go out there? Oh, we just go out here. Okay. Oh, I got a feeling there's gonna be some monsters to fight. I knew it. Why do they throw rocks at me? Alright, where y'all at? Come on. Oh, that looks fun. Where you at, man? Oh. Well, there's one down here somewhere. All right, Matt. This. Why do you not have a jetpack, bro? Okay. You know I shot him, right? I just ran all the way around this thing trying to find a way in. I know, I know, I'm not the smartest tool in the shed. So where are we headed, man? Empty. Empty. All right, well, let's go. I mean, it's not the Millennium Falcon, but it's our ride out of here, so let's take what we can get. It still doesn't make any sense that there's no weapons on a prison shuttle. Like, they have no way to defend themselves. Straight into space. Here. 
or not. Guess that's what I get for thinking. Okay. There we go. Good thing for my scanner, I'd be lost all the time. There you are. Here I am. The hell took you so long? I was it's doing your work, time. man. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, neighbor. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. That's it? Just one slate. It's all the plans, man. So much of our crew. It better be a map with a big red X on it. Huge X. And I'll be damned. Mm -hmm. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A gal bank transport probably loaded with credits. Mm -hmm. Never heard any stories about a gal bank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Gal Bank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay, this changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. We don't have much to go on. Well, that is not necessarily true. Let us start with what we know. It was a Gal Bank ship. Which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Mm -hmm. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. <laughs> I, will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That you tell her, Delgado. has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Gal Bank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Gal Bank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. Let's go. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy. When Rokov screws everything up as usual. <laughs> what do I have? A Q hauler, legendary pistol. I always wanted to take a deep space cruise. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neighbor and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. <laughs> if Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. Well, if they spot me, I'll just kill them all. I'll get it done. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to let him join the fleet. <laughs> he wanted to kill you, man. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, okay, okay. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And hmm. remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. Okay. Let me speak to Mathis. Where are you at, Mathis? There you are, Sarah. Where? Sarah just tagging along. Watch out. I'm trying to get by. Where is he at? Nothing worse than a pirate ship with no personality. Where? Okay. Put up or shut up. All right, Mathis. What you got to say, man?
Hey, um, I wanted to thank you one last time for not ratting me out to Delgado. You're welcome. And telling him how much I pitched in, that was pretty damn cool. <laughs> if he would have found out what I was planning, well, I don't even want to think about what could have happened. Just remember that you owe me a favor. Oh yeah, sure. Anything you need, you just ask. And I'll be there to back you up. We're going to hold you to that promise, Mathis. Yeah. You just what Sarah uh, said. You know, uh, take care of yourself out there. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to meet Neva at her spot in the Last Nova. Let's go. Well, isn't this cozy? It appears we've stumbled across the modern phrase absolute mayhem. Need something? All right, so that's going to do it for episode six of my Starfield playthrough as Odysseus the Mandalorian, who has acquired the Millennium Falcon. So we got a little bit of a uh, Star Wars theme here. So we're going to go ahead and end episode six right here, and we will pick up with episode seven next time. See you next time.